How did I get rounded up into your stuff? Get your hands off of Jumping right into it. Oh, you're out there? I was just about to intro you in. I'm like, I'm jump it. All right, like, jumping right into it. We're here at Rap Legends. I'm well, I'm out of here. <laughs> Later, dude. We got Josh, other half of Rap Legends, and we got White Aaron, which. Did you officially change? You changed your yeah, it's, yeah, it's hey, official. I was trying to have everybody like go on uh, Instagram and like report the report actual that one dude because I want the white Aaron name on the Instagram too. But. So everybody report the yeah. other white Aaron and let's free up that name. <laughs> and then we have VQ Bella that's trying to hide also. If you guys. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Turn around. Josh, I swear to God, if you do that stupid walking thing. <sighs> But why does it look so good? <laughs> so if you guys have been paying attention the last couple of videos, I've been talking about how my transmission has been acting up. I have a feeling it's actually the flywheel and we're gonna confirm. So I have a Z1 Motorsports lightweight flywheel. Shout, shout out to J Poppy John Parham for helping me out. It's pop, dang, dang, dude, for the OF bro, wow. But it's possible that I also might've installed it poorly. So White Aaron's gonna help me out because I'm yeah, not a- installed poorly. I'm not a I'm not a carologist, so he's gonna see if maybe my install is messed up, and maybe it's actually the flywheel. So stay tuned. Okay, looks like Aaron might have found the problem. Can you hold the other wheel real quick? He is holding the wheel, right? I supposedly have an LSD. This should not be happening. I should not be able to turn this while the other side is being held. And Aaron found out that it just might be my diff that's messed up. Aaron, thank perfect. you. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, it almost makes a whole dollar. Almost like Aaron does this as a profession or something because the diff is out in record freaking time. Like this, <laughs> it did fall out though, which was kind of funny, but. It literally fell out of the car. Yeah, literally. It does, it's like, I don't want to be here, grandpa. <laughs> But good, that thing sucks. Like, uh, I don't know, I honestly don't know what happened. I probably can't turn it right now. Yeah. You probably can. I mean, it still moves really easy. See that? That girl, she nick. So I got a lot of homies still in Atlanta. I'm gonna shout them out. This is Evan, Tay, and uh, Sarah, right? So they're telling me how to like talk south. You ever, like, say stupid. 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 Let me tell you something, that boy is stupid. You gotta get that in there. Stupid? Yeah, yeah, say it with me. Stupid. Stupid. No, no, no. Stupid. 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 There we go. <laughs> Rate my stupid one to ten. Everybody let me know. Day two, Aaron treated me to some starbs because, you know, to help combat my depression. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I had to buy a diff like second hand. I have no idea what the condition of this diff is. I really didn't even see a picture. We're in a shopping plaza. He's DMing me right now. Where you park? I, I just leave my work. I like how Bella, that's racist, dude. <laughs> She's like, these are my people. If he's in that Benz, I hope so. Cause I hope he's fucking winning. So hopefully this is it, man. So stay tuned. Cause either that next clip is going to be like, we did it or yeah. <laughs> Diff checked out so far, so the only way we're really gonna know is when it's on and if there's no issues, great. But uh, but yeah, let's get this thing back in and hopefully we can rip some burnouts as soon as I'm done. Yeah. That's the only thing you wanted. Yeah, I literally. I didn't notice and I thought like, you know, a lot of people just know that there's a lot of carryover from Nissan Diffs. Like this is a diff from an 07 350Z, right? Automatic, which I don't know what gear ratio it is. I think it might be a 3.3, which is not good. But then this is my diff out of my car. This is a 370Z Sport one, but it's the same thing. You can literally take this from 350Zs and put them into your 370Z. It's just one of those things where maybe you might not know and you're just trying to find a replacement diff. So you can get 350Z ones. You just have to replace the axle stub, but we might be on to something. Aaron actually had, oh wait, let <laughs> me put his camera up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Aaron actually had a brilliant idea, which was uh, just reverse mount reverse the bolts. Yeah, I didn't know that the axles were threaded as well. So if we can get it to go through, my only concern is like being able to put it from the backside in because normally they go from the axle into the diff. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go from the diff into the axle. And so if we can get it through and thread it, like it has block washers on it and it can quite block tight. Dude, <laughs> the technique, dog. <laughs> Sorry. One thing I will say is Aaron is the freaking truth, dog. Like, <laughs> 
I literally was just like, bro, how did you do this by yourself? And he's over here doing the Little Mermaid, like, swimming kicks on the jack. And, like, and dog, it's been, like, three minutes. You know what I mean? Like, I wasted no time. But, but yeah, I guess we're gonna. it's going to be a moment of truth to find out if this actually works. Aaron, thank you, dog. I appreciate you, homie. Dang. Look at us. Uh, I was like, yo, should we, like, test this thing? But Aaron made a good point. Like, it, it's either going to work or it doesn't. So, uh, so I guess uh, I will say we're gonna button it up, but it looks like Aaron's just gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. So that was like a lot of work. All right, so I went ahead and tightened the battery terminals. And then Aaron went ahead and, you know, he did the light work. I made sure to give him the easy job. So before my exhaust tips kind of looked like satellite titties and now we're finally back to having them straight and actually pointing straight back wait this one wait loose what about hold on, hold on. oh okay <laughs> i was like wait a minute <laughs> but yeah at least uh it's looking a lot more normal finally and now's the defining moment we're gonna find out if aaron was able to locate the issue of this car and fix it within one day and everybody was pretty optimistic and it looked pretty good did Aaron fix my Nissan 370Z with just Edit? This right here is the moment of truth. Did this fix it all? Is six months of headaches finally gone? grenade and it chose a grenade all right like i'm not gonna lie that sucks because it's a lot of extra work but it's it at least confirms that there's more to be done you know what i mean like the transmission unfortunately has to come down and i think that car right now is in no condition to move around so yeah it kind of sucks but it did fix the whining like i don't hear it yeah that's a big deal yeah so especially how you backed it out like, it sounded like, nice it already sounded like yeah i was like oh this is it it's perfect no nope, it's not perfect hey you know what though I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's pretty disheartening. It's very frustrating whenever you're trying to just figure out what the issue is just so you can drive your car. This is not gonna stop me. I wanna get to the bottom of this and I want to get my 370Z back on the road. Now that we've eliminated that the diff is not the issue, we're gonna have to dive even deeper. <sighs> Gentlemen, well, thank you. Thank go. you. Gary. How did I get rounded up into your stuff? Get your hands off me. Thank you. Mmm. 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 I bet that felt good, huh? Dame un beso, papi. Dame un beso. <laughs> you can have it. Let me get the LS. It's too much power for you. That's too much car. I know, but the VHR, that's what you need. Wait, what would you need this for? You already got an HR. I want it. I'm a hoarder. I mean, it is what it is, dude. Like, I knew something was up, but the diff does feel a lot better, though. That's the thing. Like, you're like, I'm in the way. It does actually feel a lot better. The diff was whining like crazy before, so F it. Let's just get it done, you know what I mean? I don't think I can show this. I'm sponsored by a different company, but this is for you. <laughs> I did this for you. You did this for me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know what? I, let me make sure I put the camera on me because I don't want to mess with his sponsors and all that, but yeah. We're here at Action Clutch because your boy needs a new clutch, possibly. I don't know yet. It's uh issue is is that like flywheel flywheel might be damaged, but with that new noise that's going on now, I have to like make sure that everything's good because we don't want to pull the transmission just for something to be damaged and we got to pull it back out. So hopefully it's just chilling. <laughs> All right. So we're back at the legend shop and uh taking off a lot of stuff to get it ready so we can pull back plus i'm learning something like the way that he's uh pulling the transmission down back just a tad but we're not pulling it all the way down uh just so that way we can put on the clutch kit 
And speaking of clutch kit, again, shout out to Gary for helping. Six putt clutch, pressure plate. Now I'm gonna, I just kind of want to see how my current one looks. You know what I mean? Like it's possible that it got messed up. Maybe it didn't. And then I have the flywheel from Z1 in that box over there, but that's the play right now. And then now I think I have to get access to the other, the bottom two transmission bolts. So, all right, but. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I know this is not a how-to video, just literally gonna like, as soon as we're done and updated, you're gonna be updated. So either it's good or bad. So this is where it gets pretty cool that like the transmission wasn't even, isn't even gonna get dropped. He's gonna have this, this jack there and then, oh, this one. <laughs> and then this jack in the front and then we just uh, wiggle wiggles out and yeah. And I'm just kind of stoked because Aaron moves extremely fast. I'm also learning by watching right now, but pretty stoked to just get a little involved now. So yeah, so this time I'll actually uh, try to get the camera set up so you guys can see this, cause I am, if I'm this curious, I'm sure there's a bunch of other people that are noobs like me that wanna learn, so. Now, for a lot of you guys, this might be the only reason why you clicked on the video, and this is the part that's the most important. Me, I'm not a carologist, I get it. I'm not the most experienced person to ever work on a car, and that's why people like Aaron are awesome, because they give you tips like this. I did not think that you can change your clutch kit without having to pull your transmission down all the way. All you have to do is slide it back a little bit just to give you a little bit of space just to get an impact gun in there or if possible you can break it with some hand tools. You do have to do the typical of disconnecting the drive shaft but we only did it from the back so that way it can slide over the exhaust just a little bit. And of course you should be safe, use glasses, don't use your safety squints and then also you can see that Aaron has two jacks here. But once everything is disconnected and all the sensors are taken off, he gives it a shake so that way it can break loose and then we use the pry bar to pry it all the way back. And look at that, voila, who would have thought? Again, this is crazy to me too, because I'm used to always having to pull the transmission all the way down to get access. And this is why I like working with experienced people because they teach you things like this that helps save a ton of time, which that is something we did not have a lot of. So I adopted this trick when I had to do clutches by myself in my garage. <laughs> That is freaking cool, dude. I have never in my life seen, here, let me try to get the light on there too, so. Yeah, like, I see. <laughs> that is crazy. Now I'm curious to see how goofed up this clutch is right now. Right? Because it does not sound healthy at all. But it looks like the worst came. Unfortunately, the clutch kit, it's okay. The flywheel and everything was installed by me correctly and we still can't identify the issue, which is a problem within itself. All of this work seems to be coming like it's gonna bear no fruit and all for nothing. You can see that the clutch kit itself has no damage, it just has this typical wear on the pressure plate and also on the clutch disc. And even the flywheel, though it looked old and you know a little abused, it still didn't look bad and again was installed correctly. So now there's only one thing left the transmission. All right, moment of truth. Literally everything is back in and I'm gonna fire this up. Oh my God, that sounds. Transmission. Fuck. Ah. Okay, great. <laughs> so all that work for nothing and all that extra money for literally nothing, which is sick, is literally transmission. All right, so I'm gonna have to text Chris and be like, hey dog, I'm gonna need my other trans. Cool. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe so it'll help with my pain. Ah, <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Bella, for all, and also Will, everybody at Rap Legends for helping me out. I'll see you guys in the next video.